Missandei rides beside Grey Worm, now her lover, during the Targaryen entourage's route through the Winter Town. Although the totality of Daenerys and her armies are regarded warily as outsiders by the North, both Missandei and Grey Worm note the looks of distrust they receive from the northern small folk, presumably due to their obviously foreign nature. However, she and Grey Worm share a comforting look before the two reach Winterfell. As preparations for the battle against the dead are underway, Missandei greets two northern children but she is disappointed when the two girls run away in response. Grey Worm approaches Missandei and observes that when Daenerys wins the throne, they will have no place in Westeros and asks Missandei if she wants to grow old in a place like this. He then declares his intention to travel the world after they help Daenerys win, and asks Missandei if there's any place she would like to go. She replies that she would like to see the beaches of Narth again. Grey Worm promises to help her get there. Missandei remains in the crypts of Winterfell with the other non-combatants during the battle. When Sansa Stark tells Tyrion that a marriage between herself and him wouldn't work out due to Tyrion's loyalty to Daenerys, Missandei irritably responds that without Daenerys, they would be dead by now. Although the dead interred in the crypts rise and attack those hiding there, Missandei is able to survive the night. After the dead are defeated, Missandei attends a mass funeral, in which those who died during the Great War, including Jorah, are cremated. She later stands by her queen during the war council when Daenerys plans her conquest of King's Landing. Missandei states that the small folk will support Daenerys after learning of her role in the defeat of the dead. However, Daenerys states that Cersei Lannister will make sure that this is denounced as a lie. Daenerys does not want to wait before taking the capital, fearing Cersei will gain more power. Despite Sansa's urge to convalesce and recuperate their forces, Missandei ultimately sails with the rest of the Targaryen forces back to Dragonstone to prepare for the attack on King's Landing. However, they are soon ambushed by the forces of Euron Greyjoy, who quickly dispatches Rhaegal and destroys much of the Targaryen fleet with hundreds of scorpions. While the rest of Daenerys's advisors manage to survive and evade capture, Missandei is not so fortunate, despite attempting to escape in a skiff at Grey Worm's insistence. She is brought to the capital and becomes a hostage of Cersei, who quips that Daenerys's reputation as the breaker of chains did not help her protect her closest friend. Daenerys quickly arrives with her remaining forces at the gates of King's Landing, where Missandei is held hostage, and demands that she be returned to her. Both Daenerys and Cersei also request each other's unconditional surrender. Although Tyrion attempts to appeal to Cersei's love for her unborn child and Daenerys's inevitable win, Cersei refuses to abandon the Iron Throne, quietly telling Missandei that if she has any last words, now is the time. Looking first to her lover, and then to her queen, she defiantly shouts, Dracarys. With a nod from Cersei, Sir Gregor Clegane decapitates Missandei with a single swing of his sword, her head and body falling onto the ground below. Whilst Grey Worm is horrified and turns his face away, Daenerys, seething with rage, watches before silently turning away and withdrawing from the city. Daenerys and Grey Worm grieve Missandei's death at Dragonstone. Daenerys mournfully holds Missandei's slave collar, remarking it was the only thing she brought with her when they crossed the sea. Grey Worm burns it while he and Daenerys silently watch. Later, Daenerys refuses to accept the surrender of King's Landing after defeating the Golden Company and Euron's Iron Fleet during the Battle of King's Landing. After a series of personal losses, Missandei, Rhaegal, and Jorah, tactical losses, grief, and discovering Varys's betrayal, Daenerys becomes psychologically unstable and decides to raise the city from atop Drogon. Meanwhile, Grey Worm brutally charges against the surrendered Lannister forces. Following Daenerys's assassination, Grey Worm sails to Narth, somewhat fulfilling his promise to Missandei.